So um, it's a uh, business search application. It has like you know uh, all kinds of business businesses underneath. It's like local search app. Um, I can do uh, so. I can do the normal kind of you know uh, these type of movements to manipulate the map. I can also do natural language queries. I'm going to show you an example of that. Mm -hmm. Like I might say. Sushi near Santa Cruz, California. Okay, finally got an error. We'll, I'll roll with it. Okay, so I guess we shouldn't go to Santa Cruz, we should go to Pasadena. Sushi near Santa Cruz, California. So that was uh, just a, a natural language query. Okay. You can see, you know, actually, even the, even despite the fact I got an error, this was a lot quicker than me trying to go in here and type, type it up, sushi yeah. near Santa Cruz, California. Um, uh, I it's natural language in the sense that I combined multiple constraints. So you know, I said I wanted sushi, and I said I want. I didn't have to go to separate boxes and specify each one. Mm -hmm. But really, one I want to show you is more multimodal capability. So I'm going to go up north from there to. Um, Portland, Oregon. Okay, so the great thing about multimodal is uh, I may not even really know how, how do I refer to that with speech. I mean, if I look from Portland, I can say, well, that's the Pearl District. Yep. Or something. I, mean, I may not even know that. But I can easily do it with my finger, but it's easier to say the thing that I want. So I might do, this is, so this is a true multimodal command. French, oh, sorry. French restaurants. Okay, so it's uh, there we have um, speech um, coming in. We also had gesture. I was drawing at the same time. You'll notice it, it's, it's done gesture recognition. It's realized this is an area. Mm -hmm. It's done multimodal fusion. Now, so uh, it's combined them together and worked out really what this person wants is French restaurants in this area. And it specified that. So that's um, kind of. And actually, the Watson platform that people are talking about here, that's yeah. all happening in there. Uh, you know, and some of these APIs they're initially coming out with are, are for speech, but we already have, in research, we have Watson receiving, um, basically this device is streaming audio, okay. multiplexed with like uh, gesture information and contextual information, and then, the, and then they're, they're being combined together in the engine. I want to show you one other gesture. So maybe we've had dinner yep. here in Portland. After that, I'm going up to Seattle. I know that I need to get gas. I might do something like... Gas stations. Just like a route. Yeah. Okay. And so you see, you know, it's just not giving me the ones out here. Mm -hmm. It knows that this is the line, and then it's giving me the gas stations along that route. Nice. Yeah. Um, so that's really, I mean, it's kind of interesting to, to uh, well, two things. One is in terms of sort of the evolution of voice in, mm -hmm. in mobile. Um, it started, and still actually a lot of it just now is basically is voice only. It's like mo a lot a lot of um, uh, mobile interaction with services for you know interacting with an airline or whoever uh, is you're, you're you're calling into a voice only system, and then from there we've gone to the next kind of step in the evolution is voice search, where. Um, you have a graphical display. You push a button, and then you can you can speak your search term rather than, than having to type it. And just now, you know, we're seeing a lot more noise, especially uh, about conversational assistance. People are talking about something you can have more of a conversation with. But kind of the long term place where it's going, I believe, is uh, multimodal virtual assistance, where you're you're able to speak if you want to speak. You can use your hands. You can draw. It can it, the system is able to combine those things together, and then it's also able to combined modes um, and then speak for it is one um, sample application of you know this, this sort of service you can start to support once you have uh, um, you know cloud services that can support uh, 
fusion of multiple modalities, gesture recognition. 